Dear students, this is the continuation of our previous lecture on the topic Formation of Partial Differential Equation by Elimination of Arbitrary Function. In our previous video lectures, we learnt how to form a partial differential equation by eliminating the arbitrary function when only one function is given in the equation. Now here, in the given equation, there are two functions. So in this case, we have to follow an extra step to find the partial differential equation corresponding to this given equation. So in order to eliminate the arbitrary functions f and g, we have to differentiate the given equation twice partially with respect to x and also partially with respect to y. So let us see how to solve this problem now. As the first step, we have to differentiate this given equation partially with respect to x. First of all, we will mark the given equation as equation 1. So, z equal to f of x plus i t plus g of x minus i t and we are considered this to be equation 1 where the value of i is given to be square root of negative 1 that is it is an imaginary number. So, uh, we have marked equation 1 now. Now, we have to differentiate equation 1 partially with respect to x. So, when we differentiate equation 1 partially with respect to x, we obtain dou z by dou x to be equal to. The differentiation of the function f of x plus i t will be f dash of x plus i t multiplied with. Now, here we are differentiating partially with respect to x. So, if you see uh, the differentiation of x is 1 and t is another variable which is a which will be treated as constant. So, it will become 0. And so, this will be multiplied with 1, which is the differentiation of x. Plus, the differentiation of g of x minus i t will be g dash of x minus i t multiplied with the differentiation of whatever is given in the bracket. So, here the differentiation of x is 1 and the differentiation of i t will be 0. So, multiplied with 1. As the next step, we have to again differentiate this partially with respect to x. So, let us do that now. So, when we again differentiate partially with respect to x, we get dou square z by dou x square because we are differentiating this will be equal to. Now, already we have f dash of x plus i t. When we again differentiate this, we get f double dash of x plus i t. Again, multiplied with the same, whatever is in the bracket, we have to differentiate. The differentiation of x is 1 and the differentiation of i t is 0. So, we have to multiply with 1 and so it's going to remain the same. In a similar way, we have to differentiate g dash. So, it will become g double dash of x minus i t multiplied with 1. And what we have to do is we have to mark this as equation 2. Now, what is the other variable given? Uh, here the other variable given is t. So, now we have to differentiate this equation 1 partially with respect to t. So, let us see that now. So, now we have z equal to f of x plus i t plus g of x minus i t. We have to partially differentiate this with respect to t. And so, the differentiation of z partially with respect to t is dou z by dou t is equal to and the differentiation of f of x plus i t, it will be f dash of x plus i t multiplied with the differentiation of whatever is inside the bracket. So, if you see the differentiation of x will be 0 because x will be treated as constant and differentiation of i t. Now, here uh, the differentiation of t will be 1 and i is a constant, imaginary constant. So, it will be multiplied here and then Plus, in a similar way, the differentiation of g of x minus i t will be g dash of x minus i t multiplied with the uh, whatever is inside the bracket. So, the differentiation of x will be 0 and uh, it will be multiplied with negative i. So, this is what we obtain. Now, again, we have to differentiate this partially with respect to t. So, when we differentiate again, dou square z by dou t square will be equal to the differentiation of f dash will be f double dash of x plus i t multiplied with. Now, in a similar way, 
this uh, the differentiation of x becomes zero and uh, the differentiation of i t will be i. So already we have an i here, so we it will another i will be getting multiplied, so it will become i squared plus the differentiation of g dash is g double dash of x minus i t multiplied with uh, another negative i will be multiplied, so negative into negative will become positive, and so we will be having i square. So from this we obtain do square z by do t square to be equal to i square is common in both the terms. So i square multiplied with f double dash of x plus i t plus g double dash of x minus i t. We know that the imaginary number i square is equal to negative one. So this will be do square z by do t square is equal to the value of i square is equal to minus one. So minus f double dash of x plus i t plus g double dash of x minus i t. So uh, multiplying by the negative sign throughout, we get negative do square z by do t square will be equal to minus into minus will become plus. So f double dash of x plus i t plus g double dash of x minus i t. And let us mark this as equation three. So when we compare equation two and equation three. We observe that the right hand side are equal to one another in from equation two and three, and so we can equate the left hand side also. What is the left hand side of equation two? Do square z by do x square. So we obtain do square z by do x square to be equal to the left hand side of equation three is negative do square z by do t square. And from this, taking this negative term to the left, we obtain do square z by do x square plus do square z by do t square is equal to zero. So this is the required partial differential equation that we obtain after eliminating the arbitrary functions. Here the arbitrary function were f and g. So after eliminating the functions f and g, this is the partial differential equation that we have obtained. So whenever we have two functions, we have to differentiate the given equation twice in order to obtain the partial differential equation. Hope you have understood this problem. In our next video, we will find the partial differential equation by eliminating the arbitrary function when the function is given in the form of of a of like um. If we have a function phi of u comma v is equal to zero, that is the solution will be in this form. In that case, how to find the partial differential equation? That we will be learning in our next video. Thank you.